it's gonna be in um, Sambara, which is a, a wedding venue, mostly like a wedding um, large venue. Okay. So, yeah. Wow. So it's a boxing and dine. So there'll be us there in the ring while you can go get you know your food nah. and entertainment. Yeah, we're gonna. I be, saw. You know, I saw that VIP tickets. I saw that VIP tickets are four fifty. Uh, how much is a general yes. ticket? For... Normal ticket is one hundred and fifty. Oh, that's for us who don't have a lot of money. Uh, I will also <laughs> I will also dining there. <laughs> My brother, my brother's Tinida. Hey, I'm Angaza with your side, but Mina, I can see good the camera's working on me. Yeah, uh, I can see you, and it's recording. I've actually, I've got a camera that's recording my video, so I won't even be looking at you, I'll be looking at my camera too. I'll... So yeah, the, the the main thing is that I'm recording an audio on a separate uh, thing. I'm recording an audio on a separate uh, uh, software, and then I'm recording a screenshot of the video where you are, and then I'm on my on another camera. I'm recording. E a video yam as I'm talking. Oh, okay. yeah. So so and about one video man in Jonga. Eh? It's I know excellent, so to me. Boy to skip on. I am said he hasn't get high jail. No, no, it's perfect. I mean I'm happy. Gig high jail, Lara Gita Lento Tang high jacking and pelala. Mara I know me I'm I'm always happy to speak to a fellow fitness freak. <laughs> <laughs> but today it's about fitness you, fanatic. Baba. Today is about you. <laughs> <laughs> How about me? I am honored. I'm honored. Uh, yeah, no, today is about you, man. Uh, I do believe that we'll have another conversation. Uh, that will entail as news in Domara. School among our okay. I remember the, f- <laughs> the first time Ngi Ngi understand Uguchi Uyenza e boxing. Yes. Uh, or if Une knowledge boxing was a video of Uyenza no, no Meryl. Um, hey, what was the name? Meryl. Meryl. Okay, yeah, not that name, that pity. <laughs> I don't know the name, but so <laughs> yeah. I'm calling for butchering her name. So there's a video that you did with her, bro. but like mm. I, I watch a lot of fighting sports. So it's like, ah, no, this one, this is the one, yeah. this, one. this is boxing. I saw the, the, the combos you were doing, the moves you were doing, the movement. I want to This is something. Then, but now after that, I was like, oh, man, they long cheat out, long cheat out, save the world. Oh, oh, Nanzika, oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. we fitness instructor there at the time. Yeah. So, it came like, ah, oh, man, do man, oh, yeah, boxing. Hey, and then I started scrolling on your thing. Then I started seeing in doing In fact, why boxing? Well, we are people boxing. Hey, <laughs> no, um. Firstly, Nja, I'd like to be thank you for the opportunity, uh, Ramsey. Like, yeah, it's not a lot of people who, you know, are willing in the industry that we are in to actually uh, uh, come down and actually like speak and connect with the various people in it, especially in South Africa when you know it's still a new industry and. Everyone is actually has this mindset of trying to make money, uh, and uh, um, they lose the focus of the first thing, which was 
passion, of course. Mm. So yeah, you just giving me even this opportunity to come and just um, show my knowledge and even you know myself about boxing and all. Mm. It's oh. uh, excuse me, a very big thing, you know. So as I was saying, as you were saying about the boxing, how I got into boxing was um, yeah, it's a long story. So um, just about me. My name is Mpumele Lonsoza, so originally from Peter Marysburg, uh, capital of KZN, small capital. So, yeah, I've always been a sporty person. Uh, I've always played rugby as my passion. I've always seen myself, you know, playing for a rugby team, being a professional um, player, you know. So... That was my roots, and that was always my goal. Um, and I mean, during when we are still training in rugby, um, we'd always, you know, dabble into some boxing. So that's where my interest of boxing started coming in because, you know, they'd make us do a bit of combos, understanding just, you know, how to punch just for fitness code and conditioning. Again. So what happened was um, there was plans for me to go abroad, to go play rugby overseas in um, England, okay. France and England. And of Wait, course... As in, as in to play there as in a team or just to yes, play a tournament? To play in a team. No, to play for a semi-professional team. Oh, oh okay, okay. And yeah, so... What happened was, I, during that time, I was, you know, still training myself, trying to keep myself fit, waiting for the papers and all that to be ready. And while that happened, I figured, Yo, you know what, I need to get my fitness right. So I went to a local boxing gym that was um, in Peter Myersburg. So I walked in there, I spoke to the coach, I was like, hey, I'm just looking to do boxing for, you know, fitness and be good because I told him my plans of leaving for um, the okay. country. Mm-hmm. And he was like, guy, ah, okay, uh, let's do it uh, with a laughing face. And he was like, but you know, we'll need you to be, you know, fit and maybe even come inside and actually train boxing like properly with guys, do sparring and all that and i was like i but i don't want to lose weight and he's like don't worry you'll see um so next day came i came i joined the guys we trained yeah that time i was like yeah if you can even go back on my instagram pictures i was like 100 and something kgs and i was like very built you could oh. see that i this is rugby player what position and, did you play in rugby just for interest sake before you continue oh so I used to play um, flank, like flank oh, and lock. So I used sense. to play those positions in the forward. Okay. So, yeah, as as I was doing that, I was like quite big, right? So I was training with the guys and the boxers over there, they, they were like half my size. So I used to take them lightly, you know? Mm. And of course you do like those that, you know, traditional stuff get you understanding boxing the one tools the combinations footwork mm. and all and the which is skills and technique and then also there's the fitness side so yeah in boxing i mean you can be a boxer what i always you know tell people go to boxing doesn't mean that you have to go into sparring every week and you know do that just by you skipping running and even like shadow boxing or hitting the punching bag one twos you're already a boxer you're training to be a boxer um just a side note sorry but going back to the um, whole thing it the story so i went into a sparring two weeks after i signed in to the gym and okay. yeah the beating i got from just the <laughs> smallest the smallest fighter boxer in the club in the gym i in the gym i couldn't even last two rounds with him that time i looked at him i 
underestimated him very much. So, looked at him, I thought, I know, I, it's going to be a quick thing. It's a whole move. <laughs> and, and, yeah, I realized then when I tried to go for a uh, a one two, a one two, and the guy was already underneath me and he stuck the meanest uppercuts that raised my head up to the roof. And I saw that I guys like with size, having like muscles and all, it's it's very nice when it comes to looks and your ego, your ego. But the important thing about life, and I had that realization was the important thing about life is being able to move, yeah. being able to do everything, being able to know that if, let's for example, let's say for example, being able to do everything, for example, if something happened would, would to happen now, would I be able to run three kilometers comfortably uh to for safety or would i be able to swim to the other side of the 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 room and you know stuff like that being able to sprint can i run away as fast as i can from uh uh danger and being able most importantly to can i defend myself yeah that's yeah, another yeah. can i defend myself from harm so when I had that realization, it was no man. Like every day, I wake up in the morning. I go lift heavy weights. I go, you know, do all those things. And uh, not taking it away from anyone, but I realized the good thing. It doesn't help too much. It doesn't help to the goal that I'm trying to achieve. I'm trying to be an athlete. I'm not trying to have the strongest bench press i'm not having ah, trying to I get be... you so so basically you you went from focusing on just how you look like to what you can do yes yes yeah, that's yes, the functional basic. side yeah okay okay mm. okay okay i see I, yeah I, I like the so when that happened mm. so when that happened i had that realization and while that was happening um fortunately and unf unfortunately and fortunately um the arrangements to go abroad did not happen so um no, the no. dream of playing rugby carrying on my rugby career um was sort of in turmoil and i was like staying at home and just you know training and doing nothing too much so at home, they told me that, I mean, I have to do something at least if I'm not leaving. I must do something. So I chose to study um, fitness in the gym because I was in the gym 24-7 and I was in a okay. rugby academy. So I chose to study fitness because it's a thing that I'm very passionate about. And I mean, I saw it as a place where I can actually work and enjoy so i went yeah. and studied fitness in durban while i was playing rugby still but while i was playing rugby i was dabbling into some boxing understanding boxing i had that love i had that you know that passion that little thrill was growing inside i was watching more boxing videos uh, in my spare times i would actually go punch the bag more I'd work on my technique, get it better and better, and also spar with a few guys um, okay. from Durban and Peter. And while I'm when I'm in Durban, I go back to Peter Meisberg and spar with the guys. So there was always that thing. And yeah, slowly, while the love of rugby was going down, the love of boxing was growing. And yeah, that's how you got where, to become a boxer. Yeah. So finally, point, uh, finally, you answered I, my question. Yeah. <laughs> so, I so, know it was a long man, but yeah. No, it's and okay. So, yeah, it's I okay. got to that point where so I was like, you know what? I see the rugby isn't going my way. Let me try this one. Okay. So it, it sounds like it, uh, 
so when I get u kaoleze was introduced because that is that was supposed to be my my next uh, line. Kaugus two team fundi and then nobody was two turn up a go non suza boban. Hey mina e ngazaz it's a gaza losaranzuza, I don't know like very well unfortunately. Gaza jo shaz of my cobosa when it goes to the rest, I'll call it Pramzi Pramzi see Sikule Sikule Luxhi Sikule down. I just opened a, 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 a Google. Eh? There is something called mm. Zulu, Zulu Ring dot blogspot dot com. Is the Tagazelo Zawanzuza Nazi Mashobo Mashobo, yes, Shaz Shaz Debelim Dag. Bumfula, when I was a baby, I saw the silo, 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 Uma chia kati nizulu kam suit muli muli hey ay oh o umuti nizulu kam suit ah sivile 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 yes yes it's him madam ay ta eh India stand agi mna geza geza nanzik eh mna kendi go sango unzita ufagati umkapi sunyande nyande mnyama kupata Ozalongwebani, <laughs> Yes, you have yeah. to know yourself. Yeah, no, no, but I get come to act judge just because you don't know those things. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, that's one of the reasons why Singaban to see we we, mm. we talk. But so, yes, but as as they say, you know, like if you know your roots, the tree can sprout to the sky. Mm. Mm. You know. Aye, they go. What you long to lose or cool house you fickle in a lap or eh? Yeah, of course, yeah. Well, I was a fool, and 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 you know, most trees are trees because of their roots. Mm. Trees that last longer, you you will always realize that they, they've got like roots is serious. I don't know, is it a bamboo tree, the one that it stays underneath the ground for a very long time, but by the time it comes out, imagine the amount of work up. that happens there. Which it's building yeah. a real, real base. Yeah, it's a strong one. Yeah, it's a bamboo. Yeah, a bamboo. How to get food? How to stay Okay, so you, you, uh, the deal fell through, and then uh, you were around between boxing and and rugby, and then you studied fitness at the same time. What you doing this? Mm. And then, uh, when did you make the full transition to, to, uh, which okay? When where was the main transition? Did you make a transition to fitness, or you made a transition to boxing first? Uh, um, so, or you still do all did, three? I mean, people, I had already while I was studying in Devon, I was already like. Um, training people okay. but of course my training wasn't like professional at all it would just be I come to your house and I help you out with this and that um, and while I was doing that the, the fitness I then started off like I would say yeah I would say it was in 2020 in Yesterday, 
yes, 2020, that's when I made a full transition into boxing, where I stopped rugby because the club, everything shut down, sports was off, and I mean, I had to keep myself fit. And yeah, that's when I was like, you know what, I can't do rugby anymore. Let me just go to boxing. And then I was doing boxing also over here in Peter Mar over there in Peter Marisburg with my gym, my first gym. We, the, the we had issues with you know COVID. fund COVID, yeah, COVID. So unfortunately we had to shut down. But mm -hmm. I still had, you know, the dream to you know Continue do boxing, it. push boxing, mm -hmm. take it take it far. And what I set out to do was, you know what? Um, I had already quali um, graduated, um, finished my um, fitness certificate and stuff. So I was like, you know what, let me just go to Gauteng and uh, I'll see. When, when um, does this happen? This was um, end of the lockdown, end of lockdown. Uh, I told the guys from the rugby club that I'm not coming back anymore. In fact, I didn't tell them. I just took a bus, came to Gauteng. Okay, okay. And then since you've been here in Gauteng, you've been uh, played any rugby? No, I haven't played it. No, no, break, no just... breaking of collarbones? <laughs> no, nothing, nothing. Uh, okay. So no the... breaking of nose. <laughs> so, so the time you were at, at, at uh, KZN, did you have any fights there? Um, KZN, I did have a few fights, but it was always, you know, like white collar fights. So white collar fights are undocumented. It's just oh. for, um, the fun and all. So I had a lot of white collar fights. I also had some sparrings. I had sparrings with, you know, most of the guys there. Um, and yeah, like it wasn't always like an official thing. But only when I came in Gauteng, when I had my record done officially, I've done it all like properly. Uh, and, you know, I'm just steady taking it slow, taking it slow, um, going with the record book and amateur boxing record book. So, leaving my record before I actually go professional, which is in the plans to go next year. Okay, okay. I saw you on another on another video with, with this other guy. Uh, remember, you were you were sharing a couple of things about that fight. Uh, I think it was your first or second amateur fight. I guess the one that's registered. Uh, I don't know if you remember the video I'm yeah, talking yeah. about. Yeah, you you told me a story about that fight. Uh, obviously, I know part of the story but i think it's nicer if you just share that story and as well as just to make people understand the difference between amateur boxing and professional boxing because people talk about amateur boxing and professional boxing we don't know what 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 that yeah. means yeah, well. yeah no most definitely so the difference with amateur boxing and professional boxing is of course professional boxing you're fighting for money which is prize it's a prize fighting which is money and also you um the whole structure is different um with professional boxing the one that we usually see on the tvs yeah the rounds go up to even you know 12. they start off from four rounds they go up six eight ten to twelve okay sometimes even going up to 13 and 15 Sorry. Okay. To fifteen. Sorry. To no, 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 it's um, okay. thirteen, fifteen. Yeah. So with those rounds, it's more different. People have time. The boxers have time to uh, understand each other. They have time to you know set up their punches and you know uh, sit on their punches. When I mean sitting on their punches, I mean that they can throw powerful shots that you know can hurt and damage the other boxer for, for the further rounds um oh. unlike in Let's amateur boxing amateur boxing is strictly three rounds 
of boxing and you have to make sure that you um, throw punches, as many punches as you can go um, while you're also defending yourself, not getting hit. Um, and it's all about scoring points. So in professional boxing, I can knock you down. Me knocking you down means a lot. Um, in amateur boxing, me knocking a person down doesn't mean that much. Um, what's important is um, how you box, if you're applying the technique right, mm. if your boxing skills are looking sharp and, you know, like clean, and if you are fit, you show that you fit your training, you can apply the, the, the basics. You know what to do, how to defend a jab, you know how to defend. Most judges are watching that. Unlike in professional, in professional boxing, it's you have to win. Who's going to get the win? The judges are watching who hits the last hard shots, who defends better, and who enter, entertains the crowd. All right. And also, of course, knocking you down means a lot. It means a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Knockouts okay. can, you know, change uh, the whole, you know, um, fight. While in amateur, I can knock someone down. They can get up. Still, they can win because they beat me via points. So, so what's your what's your amateur record? With my amateur record right now, I have. Let me think back. Sorry, I think I have three, three wins, three wins and two two losses. Yeah. Okay, no draw. No draw. It's either no you draw. win or you lose. Huh? <laughs> either or you lose. Nah, that's nice, man. That's nice, man. That, that's beautiful. That's quite a number of fights. Five fights. Uh, yeah. You've seen, and, and now you said, that means if you fought three rounds uh, on each of the fights, that means now you've done around 15 rounds. Yeah. Of, 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 uh, of official fighting. fights. Of official yeah, fights. Apart from Document. the whole, the other things and, and white collars and all that stuff. So, when yeah. is your next fight? I saw you, you shared something uh, uh, for this weekend. Uh, just that I was watching something else when I saw that. I was like, I so I'm going to check. Yeah. So, what's happening is um, this one is going to be. Uh, amateur um s fights like there'll be main fights and sparrings so official like exhibition matches basically also so the exhibition match it's recorded but um it's documented on your re like record book slightly some it's documented as a fight but no one actually like gets a win or so it's basically like a draw sometimes they put it down as a draw but basically what it is it's showcasing your um your skill in front of the um, crowd like the um potential promoters potential sponsors oh. um, and potential like um you know, just boxing people, boxing fans. So also, which is very important. Mm. I, yeah, lawyer, the network. Yes, lawyer, Club. network. Hey, welcome oh, back. Hey, we lost you. Oh, oh sorry. Mm. So as I was saying, let's see, uh, boxing is not like, um, and combat sports is not like any other like team sports where already the a club or a team that's um, financed you have to actually have promoters and people who are backing you and mm -hmm. you know investing in you to you know grow your career so that's what exhibition this one is important about it's not only about like a fight but it's the opportunities that may be available you never know who's watching you in the crowd yeah. Where where is this? You know. This is gonna be in Kruger's Dorp. Oh, you love fighting in Kruger's Dorp. <laughs> yeah, no, Kruger's Dorp. Um, there's a very nice club there. Um, by who coach Dida, um, who's gonna be the one doing the um in charge of the 
events right now. The, the one I'm going to be fighting in. I actually got an invite from him. So, so yeah, um, I, yeah, just to thank him for the opportunity. Um, and shout out, yeah, shout out I to mean, Kush Dida. Hopefully, he sees this one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, well, hopefully, hopefully. Um, yeah, it's going to be in um, Sambara, which is a, a wedding venue, mostly like a wedding um, large venue. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So it's a boxing and dine. So there'll be us there in the ring while you can go get you know your food nah. and entertainment. Yeah, we're gonna. I be, saw. You know, I saw that VIP tickets. School. I saw that VIP tickets are four fifty. Uh, how much is a general yes. ticket? Normal for... ticket is one hundred and fifty. Oh, that's for us who don't have a lot of money. Uh, are we also are we also <laughs> dining there? And then I think, yeah, the food there, you, with the VIP, I think you'll get meals from, from the ticket. Um, and then general, you, you, there'll always be like snacks and, you know, oh. um, being sold around. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I see. I see. Oh man. I know that's nice, man. And that, that starts at what time? It's on Sunday or Saturday? Saturday. So Saturday, um, 7 p.m. Saturday at 7 p.m. Hopefully, yeah. this video will be already out by then. Because there's a <laughs> lot of editing that I have to do. Then, man, hey. when, when do you join Virgin Active? As uh, a fitness? Um, so, yeah, as fitness. So, at Virgin Active, um, I joined when I moved here. Of course, I needed the job. I, you know, had to do something during the day. Mm. So, I only had this qualification and I have a rugby coaching qualification. So I figured, I mean, let me, I need something to do. I, I, let me go to gyms. So I went to my gym, the Fit Planet Fitness, Virgin Active, small local gyms. And Virgin Active took me first. It was the one in Carl's World, I think. Yeah. Okay. Took me, um, and yeah i why i did not go straight into personal training and i went to fitness instructor uh, it's because i did not have a, like e clients i didn't have clientele and also i didn't have an understanding uh, of the environment how people operate and how they another big factor was of course i didn't have capital to gamble on the idea of going straight into personal training. Yeah, yeah. Having yeah. to pay rent, you know, and doing all of that. So I played it safe. Um so I can just learn the the environments of how then how people operate around Midrand and Centurion. How people operate and how, you know, how to actually be um a a a a tr uh, good marketing, mm -hmm. having good marketing, all those little things that people that you might not understand or get in the textbook, you know, uh, experiences needed to yeah. take you even yeah. further and separate you from the rest. So uh, and that's why I went into uh, Virgin Active and why I started off there um, as a fitness instructor. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah, I learned a lot. I will not lie to you and say any other. I learned a lot from people like yourself, um, other personal trainers, um, to even your members, you know, your members. Just being on the gym floor, helping people out, they see the value in you. And, mm. and you know, they, they will network you with different people, variety of people. So it's very important, you know, it's very important sometimes to not rush into things face first. It's to analyze and listen to your intuition and take your time, take your time, understand. And when you're ready and when you see that all sales and all sales are saying, I, the wind is picking up and it's taking you forward, that's when you go. 
on that note of learning a lot, I'm also learning a lot from you, my brother. Uh, know all these things that we do, uh, training with you, I get to be, you, you put me in situations where you tell me to do things that I, I'm not used to doing. And, and, and one of the things I've learned is that, okay, let me learn. So you're not the only one that's learning. We, we're also learning from you. And, and I'm, I'm very happy to be working with you and, 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 and with everything that we're doing. Hopefully, hopefully as we go, uh, uh, I will be able to look at you and, and say, hey, yeah, no, that guy worked hard. That's why he is where he is right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, no, uh, it's the same here. It's the same here, you know. Um, and as I was saying, on, it's you know very rare for especially in our culture you know like our cultures where omuntu like omnane or omdala you know you know gets to share knowledge because nowadays if people see me they just think i know this small boy what does he know um, but i mean now i look at you and i'm like hey i'll always be like i know this is you know Ramsey, Ramsey <laughs> has, you know, very hands. He, I'll, I'll always, you know, pick his brain. But it's good to know, and it puts a smile on my face to know that you're also feeling the same. That it's a, you know, thing like Zandla Zakeza. You help me. I help. I'm helping you. It's, you know, very great to know that. Um, and yeah, it's very rare, you know, um, especially as a. Yeah, I want to teen in fact Iyakata, Iyakukata Street. I was saying, um, as I'm saying, as I was saying earlier on about you know how in our industry everyone has this idea of I have my I get my own clients or you know I get my mm. own people and um, I have my own knowledge. I have my own way and I can't take any you know, anyone else's it's my way or the highway. Um which is, you know, I do not believe I can yeah, always yeah. you can learn from me, I can learn from you. End of the day, when we take that knowledge to our clients or you know, our members it's and we and we, you know, um, implement it on them. We both grow. End of the day, we both look good to them, you know. Speak, so, speaking of clients, sorry if we cut in. Speaking of clients, if somebody wants to train with you, uh, how 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 can they they get hold of you? Um. Oh, so how they can get hold of me? Is, um, I am based currently in. Virgin Active Roy Hayes Kral, um at Molat Reds, Molat Reds. So um, I'm one of the personal trainers there. I offer boxing skills classes um, and one on one sessions. Uh, also offer strength and conditioning for athletes or uh, functional training. Um, so and also, if not, if not, um, we can always do, you know, house calls. I am, I do offer house calls at Centurion and Midrand areas. Uh, sessions, house call sessions being three hundred um, a session, uh, and one-on-one -on -one sessions at uh, Rohe's Grill being two hundred, two hundred and fifty. Uh, and then I do have, you know, flat rates, mon mon monthly payments, um, packages and all and etc. Can you can you send me sort of your flyer so that I can place it here uh, when on, on this on this video so that at least yeah. people can always yeah. pause and read everyone and, and, and then can yeah. I also put your number there so that whoever wants to call you, are able, they are able to call you. Yes, and my number is um, 065-88, so 88-938-98. I'll repeat it again, 
889 3898 All right. Voyage at Amakosa, Amadinga, Wijal. Dear Joga, I'm like, yo, we we over 40 minutes. This is going to be too long. I know some people <laughs> talk for hours, but I don't want Uba Gaba Siba Siba but 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 eh they they must at least that i know it's only 30 minutes 40 minutes you know baga baga sebe pelelo in amand eh no man uh, i think let me let's leave it here and mm. i believe that this is not the last time we're talking and no. if we finish everything now we won't be able to have something else to talk about. Yeah, well, yeah true. Uh, <laughs> true, true, true. Maybe um, schedule, let's, maybe even in the future to schedule uh, a live, a live session. That in would person, be yeah, 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 uh, yeah. That, that, just... that would be nice, that would be nice, that would be nice. Yeah. Thank you very much, my bra. Have a beautiful day. Thank you so day. much, bro. Yeah, I believe you are, we are getting at five o'clock. So yes. yeah. So then see you. I'll see you on Monday. Monday. All right. Perfect. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, like But you were now Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for your time, bro. Thank you, Baba. Thank you. Eight, ta-da. Mm.